So after a full day of three people cleaning and packing and loading a truck, we are just about ready to hit the road. And there is nothing left in this house except, well, the appliances. A washer, a dryer, and a refrigerator. Oh, and I think we left him like one roll of toilet paper. Otherwise, this house is clean. I've always wanted to say that, I don't know why. Next stop, Albuquerque. Right. <laughs> Not really. We'll be, we'll be, yeah, I know. Yeah, El Paso probably. And ch yeah, check it out. It don't get much tighter than that. As if driving this big rig weren't enough, we're adding this too. And the car is also filled with stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It might be a long 45 mile an hour trip from Arizona to Florida. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So my first leg driving was an interesting experience. First, we got detoured about 60 miles out of the way because of a dust storm. There's something you don't see in New England. And then on the detour, we run into Carnival Ride here, who is just a couple of vehicles in front of us but going consistently 10 to 20 miles per hour under the speed limit for the better part of 50 miles. So it was pretty chill. We had a great long string of traffic behind us. One guy tried to get around our great big rig there thinking that, you know, I'm responsible, the slow guy, and you know, just merged right in front. That was exciting. Other than that, we are now in New Mexico. So the saga continues. So after the most arduous leg of the trip so far, we have arrived in El Paso, Texas for the night where we'll be staring, staring, staying at a Courtyard Marriott Hotel. Thank God. Just another Manic Monday. I tell you, we had some navigational difficulties finding the place with Google Maps and address inputs and all that good stuff because this place here is relatively new, like only a month old. So that was tons of fun, tons of fun. It took about half an hour for us to circle the block and get to the right place. And I know I've been making a lot of jokes about Mexico, but <laughs> right now I'm in Texas and if you look behind me, the lights you see across the highway, that is Mexico. And all the bad hombres and all that nonsense. Whatevs. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to an adult beverage or two, a shower, and then, who knows, just enjoying the rest of the night, I guess. And tomorrow, we end up in a different part of Texas because we're not going to make it out of Texas by tomorrow night. Not no way, not no how. Until tomorrow. Adios.